अपने सीएम को थैंक्स कहना कि मैं एयरपोर्ट से जिंदा पहुंच पाया वो द वर्ड्स ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी आफ्टर द अनफॉर्चुनेट सिक्योरिटी ब्रीच दैट टुक प्लेस इन पंजाब फिरोजपुर एंड येस द स्टेटमेंट ट्रांसलेट्स टू थैंक्स टू योर चीफ मिनिस्टर आई हैव रीच्ड द एयरपोर्ट सेफ एंड साउंड At that point many could not believe that these words were actually spoken by a prime minister the congress government then dismissed reports of any security breach with the new government almost completing a year in office there has been little to no progress in the matter pm modi has time and again warned aam aadmi party supremo arvind kejriwal to refrain from his kind of politics which is the politics of freebies However to your surprise no heed was paid to that either now the time of warnings has passed and the center has plunged into action it seems what was said by the prime minister at that point in time has begun to show its result namaste and welcome to tfi post i'm your host piyush let's begin Delhi Finance Minister Kailash Gehlot has announced 78800 crore budget for the financial year 2023-24 in the Delhi Assembly. The budget was scheduled to be presented on Tuesday but was delayed after Ministry of Home Affairs sought clarification. The Aam Aadmi Party however has resorted to its way of doing politics and has referred to the budget halt as being done for cheap publicity. Kailash Gehlot even called the center's move unconstitutional alleging that an elected government has been prevented from presenting the budget in the house a video of Arvind Kejriwal accusing the center right government of gunda gardi is now being circulated by the aam aadmi party but here the question is why has the center halted the budget first question did the center halt the delhi budget The answer is yes in an official statement the ministry of home affairs said that it had received the financial statement for year 2023-24 and that the lieutenant governor of delhi had raised some concerns of an administrative nature on the proposed budget keeping in mind the fiscal interests of the national capital in a letter dated march 17 2023 the ministry of home affairs asked the delhi government to submit the budget addressing these concerns for further action However from March 17 until yesterday that is March 22nd the Delhi government did not reply due to which it was unable to present the budget on the scheduled date which was Tuesday the MHA itself had said for the benefit of the people of Delhi the GNCTD should submit a reply immediately so the Delhi government did not reply to the concerns what did it do instead Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal wrote a letter to Prime Minister requesting him not to stop Delhi's budget. So now you know the entire story. Now let's move on to what concerns the Delhi LG VK Saxena had with the government budget. The LG had pointed out that the expenditure done by the Delhi government on ads basically publicity was unjustifiable. The LG had asked as to why the Kejriwal government was doubling the expenditure on advertisements in the last 2 years. The LG has also sought to know why benefits for central government schemes like Ayushman Bharat were being denied to Delhi rights. This is not the first time the LG has pointed out overspending on advertisements by the Delhi government. He has earlier flagged the issue of ad spend multiple times. The latest being in December last year. Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party spending on ads is not new to anyone neither the common man nor the central government still it was too long of a wait for the central government's side to plunge into action although this is not the only field the union government has also tightened the news around Punjab government's inaction following the prime minister's security breach that took place in January 2022 On March 12th the center sought an action taken report from Punjab the union home secretary Ajay Bhalla asked Punjab chief secretary Vijay Kumar to submit an action taken report highlighting the delay by the state government in acting against the erring officers reports published on March 21st suggest that the Punjab chief minister Bhagwant Mann has ordered the initiation of disciplinary proceedings for major penalties against former DGP S Chattopadhyay and two other police officers 
be it the action against Khalistani leader Amrit Pal Singh and his aides or the initiation of a probe in the matter of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's security breach, the Bhagwant Man government doing the bare minimum is the result of the centre's pressure to come out of its slumber and perform. The swift action against Delhi government was also done to send out a simple message. Stop unjustified expenditure on ads and publicity and put the taxpayers' money to good use. Was it necessary to exercise power against the state government? The answer lies in the petty politics played by the opposition parties, one of the example being not implementing the Ayushman Bharat scheme in opposition-ruled states, be it Delhi, West Bengal or Odisha.